But in this video, we are solving two problems, both from oscillator emotion. Both are simple problems, doesn't take more than two minutes. That's why each problem I'm doing them together so that video is little uh, productive, right? Let me start with the second part of the problem. This one. A particle is exhibiting simple harmonic motion. Its maximum acceleration is alpha. So first we shall know the equation for acceleration for a body in simple harmonic motion a equal to minus omega square y so magnitude is omega square y maximum acceleration is when the displacement is maximum amplitude and it was called that value as alpha and maximum velocity is called as beta so we shall remember the equation for velocity of a particle in simple harmonic motion v equal to omega into root of a square minus y square for v to be maximum displacement has to become zero so v maximum equal to omega into root of a square minus g square zero square omega into root a square equal to a omega a and that was called as beta and what is the time period of that is so being this is omega square a and this is omega a just make alpha by beta it becomes omega square a by omega a a a cancels omega square by omega equal to omega so alpha by beta equal to omega equal to d theta by dt after completion of one rotation angle covered is 2 pi time taken for one rotation is called time period t so time period t becomes automatically t is equal to 2 pi into beta by alpha option d is the answer so such a simple uh, basic question that was question number uh, two let me come to the first question which is also a simple question this says a particle is in executing simple harmonic motion along a straight line its velocity is at displacements from the mean positions x1, x2 or v1 and v2, then what is the time period? Is It is even a simpler question. We only need to know the equation for velocity that we have already written here. Velocity equal to omega into root of a square minus y square. It is given that velocity is v1 when displacement is x1. Similarly, velocity is v2 when displacement is x2 you want time period you cannot can derive divide these two equations uh, so that if you divide this omega and omega cancels and you will never get time period you need to get time period now so don't divide these equations rather eliminate amplitude because that was the data that is not given and none of the answers are in that terms so from the first equation here I can write further from the v1 square equal to square that equation number one this equation omega square of a square minus x1 square so v1 square by omega square equal to a square minus x1 square so a square equal to v1 square by omega square plus x1 square so I can similarly write from this second equation as a square equal to v2 square by omega square plus x2 square. As anyway, left hand side of these two equations is a square. So right hand side can be definitely equated. So what we can say is v1 square by omega square plus x1 square equal to v2 square by omega square plus x2 square so i can get v1 square by omega square this term to the other side v2 square by omega square equal to x2 square by x1 square so 1 by omega square can be taken as common v1 square minus v2 square equal to x2 square minus x1 square from this i can write omega square because i need time period i need first need to know omega 
take this omega to that side and get this as omega square equal to v1 square minus v2 square by x2 square minus x1 square. I just got this to the denominator. This I have taken to the numerator of the other side. So omega can be written like under square root v1 square minus v2 square by x2 square minus x1 square. But as I told you, omega can be written like uh, 2 pi by t in the other video also. So v1 square minus v2 square by x2 square minus x1 square. That implies time period can be written like 2 pi into root of x2 square minus x1 square by v1 square minus v2 square. Option B is the answer for the problem. That's how we solve the problem. That's a quite simple problem. Both the problems are both of them depends on the basic concepts of oscillatory motion and the formulas. Once if you know them, solving them becomes quite easy. That's it and thank you for watching.